What up, YouTube? It's your boy Fabo. Back with um another video. 91 Hunting Firebird update. Everybody. What we're doing today is um how to remove the fuel cinder unit without dropping the gas tank. So dropping the gas tank is of course proper way to do it, but it's a lot of freaking work, it's a lot of freaking work, and it's a lot of time involved in dropping the gas tank, so the easiest way to do it, and I know what you're going to say, but blah, 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 so we're going to cut this open, and your fuel cinder unit is like right here, you feel me, so, before you start, man, make sure you got some safety glasses too. Make sure you got your tools you're gonna use. So, right now we're using, just to get it open, we're gonna use this grinder, and be careful when you use it. We got some tin snips. It rusty as hell, don't worry about it, they still work. Straight edge, just for marking lines so you can have a, a nice line. You don't want all that shit jag it up, you know what I mean? So um, what we're going to do, we're going to score some mark and find out where it's at. You don't want to go deep. You just want to slice on it a little bit, you know what I mean? About to get surgical with this bitch. So you're just cutting through until you feel that sucker cut through. So let's do this right here. So I'm all the way through. Then we'll come back this way a little bit more. Feel how they grind the sink? You gotta hold on to it. Don't let it go down in there. Cause you cut your tank, cut lines, you don't do none of that stuff. Take this all the way out too. We just gonna open it up like a can of sardines, tuna or something like that, you know what I mean? Got a split. I need a freaking screwdriver. But I ain't gonna walk back there. To the shed. So I'm gonna do it like this right here. See that? See that you too? So look, I didn't come back far enough. Now actually, yeah. So I'm gonna open it up some more. Smash the bag down. 
tech will be back together. So now he's gonna have to. Alright, so I got my idea of two. <laughs> Help y'all out. What you can do once you get the new one in, all that good stuff, put it back in. You can smash that down if you got your welder, a friend, or somebody that know how to weld. You know what I mean? Smash all that right back down and bring it back together. Now you see where it bent up right there, so you're gonna have to do a little hammer work to get it back tight or whatnot. But y'all got the idea, man. There it is. F body sending unit. Cheap way to take it out. Time, less time <coughs> consuming way to take it out, excuse me. So, we'll get back at y'all, man. Hope this video was helpful. Be cool. Oh, before I go, might well tell you how to take it out. So this right here is a lock ring. So you're gonna take them and knock that out. You feel me? And um Anyway, I'll get back at you. Two, back at you, man. We're going to um, take this lock ring out right here. This gas tank and this L body. So what you got to do, let me show you. Show you real quick. What you got to do, man. Got these little tabs. You see a little stopper right there? See, you're going to knock it around to come past these stoppers feel me then it pops right out make sure you don't lose nothing don't pry up on it none of that stuff just pay attention it's easy it's real easy to it's real easy to y'all just Rust in that puppy. Shit. Probably why it stopped working. So, then we're gonna have to break this one up. Cause they, um, the new one come with a new lock ring anyway. But I was showing y'all how to do it if you plan on using the same one. I'm not. So, what y'all do though. You're just gonna take your screwdriver and your hammer. You're gonna hit this lock ring clockwise. So basically, you're gonna like push it. Moving. Just rusty, man. It's rusty as devil. So I'm just gonna pry this out. Like I said, I'm getting a new one. Shop back and back from all this freaking dust because I don't want that dropping in my tank. I think that's what I do too. Alright, YouTube, we back. Lock ring was rusty like I don't know what. 
but I got it out. So what y'all got to do? You got to take your screwdriver. You got to hit these little tabs. Got to hit these little tabs right here. Let me see if I can get out the sun shade. So see right here these little tabs. This your lock ring. So you're gonna spin that around until it comes out them grooves. So we take that out the way. And there's your sending you in, man. Right there. Yep. So I hope this video helped y'all. So when you're taking it out, you gotta disconnect it back there. I ain't getting up on the car right now. But um that's how y'all take it out. Yeah, she's done. Look at it, YouTube. She's done. Alright, YouTube. I'm gonna get back at y'all later, man. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. God bless you. This is the fuel sending unit out of the F-body. See how bad it is, man. I don't know if you can see in there, but that gas look horrible. Let's see. And that gas looks so horrible, man. Look how bad that shit is, man. Yep, I gotta go in and drop this tank. Or, um... Drain all that out. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna put the new fuel center unit in that shit. There's no way. Alright YouTube. There it is. I got it out. Oh, by the way, do not, I repeat, do not cut your gas lines like I did. I knew for a fact that it was stopped up. And I knew for a fact that I'm putting new lines in here. So you don't want to cut your lines. You want to take it apart like you're supposed to take it apart. But um... I'm running all new gas lines, so that's why I did it this way. And just look at this boy here, man. This sucker. Look at it, man. That's why I wouldn't run. You see that? Ooh-wee. It's gunk. All right. Peace.